Hello, my wonderful viewers. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching from. Welcome back to Mikali Global TV. Today, I'm happy because I'm bringing to you a video that most of you, my uh, viewers, have been commenting in the comment section, requesting to know how my family and I came to Hargeisa, Somaliland, a beautiful place, a wonderful land, the Horn of Africa. Mm -hmm, yeah. So that's what we are doing today and you're getting me right from 25 restaurant, cafe and restaurant in Hargeisa, Somaliland. There's a video that I did previously about this place. It's a nice restaurant, a, a small cafe, so if you are around, you're in, in Hargeisa, please feel free to pop in and enjoy some nice meals and nice ambience. The place is mashallah, you will love it. So welcome to the show and enjoy it. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have to do this thing now. Umefika Mkali Global TV. Unafaa waambie umefika wapi? Yeah, we are live at Mkali Lok uh, eh? Mkali. Aanza tena umefika. Eh, nimefika Mkali Global TV. And today we are going to tell you a short story about how we came here in Somaliland. Uh, the journey, the experience, everything good and bad we are going to share in today's video. So what you need to do is subscribe, turn that not notification button. So that whenever I upload new videos, you can be the first to be notified. And keep watching. Don't just watch without subscribing. Sisi kazi yetu ni kuwapea videos na stories. Tuko hapa. You know, a lot of content will pass you by, so subscribe. For those who have subscribed, I really appreciate. I appreciate so much. Tuko sawa, sika? Amemeza. Atari zero. Zero, zero. Sika. Haa. Yeah, so lazima tuwambie tulikuja huku aje. Okay, we, 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 anza. We, we, in the first place. Did you know about Somaliland? Uh, like, did you know about a place called Somaliland? No. Siku wanajua about it. Yes. Me too, siku wanajua about Somaliland. So, it was confusing for us, eh? Yeah, I remember that day mm. when I came home, I mm. would you wish me to travel to a new country? Mm -hmm. And I'm why not? Yes. I'm but this country is called Somaliland. Uh, so can you be? You watch you can. That one. Uh, 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 mm -hmm. So, but uh, we we went we went on Google search to Kajarebu to research what is this Somaliland. Yes. And then uh, one of the friends Ambal Kwanajarebu to connect to Uku, we had to ask him, mm -hmm. where is this place exactly? Mm -hmm. And are you sure about the place? Yeah. <laughs> Because we couldn't imagine that we could have people who are here and it's so peaceful and even their families here. Yeah. So he was trying to convince us but we still doubted. Mm -hmm. Eventually to customer. Anyway, hassle lazima is big way. Yes, so, yes, yes. Yeah. So okay, basically we knew about Somaliland through a colleague, yeah. a workmate, yeah, yeah. who told you, uh, by the way, kuna jobs, uh, this and this place, would you like to go and work out of Kenya? Yeah. Then, oh, come and be a two, I, for now, watch it. Because I remember, I think, I was be that job before. Yeah, like a month, a month or two. Yeah. Uh, but we brush two off. But I was going to by the way, my friend is still looking for teachers. Mm. Are you still interested for the job vacancy? So when you came back, uh, the, the, the slot is still there, uh, the teachers are still needed. By the way, there are so many expatriates here. There are teachers, there are doctors, there are chefs, yeah. there are engineers, yeah. there are... Um, what else? Do you do? Yes. Road, road, road engineers, Mjengo, yeah. yes, they do these buildings and all that. There are very many people here. And not only Kenyans, by the way, very many people from other different countries. Exactly. So from that time, Sasa took us okay, why not try? But Sasa took us to Moliza. So many, many questions. We will make out for how long? Uh, how sure are you it's a safe place? Okay, like how is the life generally? Unko? Then uh, he gave us all those details. So you know, uh, mm -hmm. At some point, he had to convince us, tell yes. us, you know, 
even my family is here with my kids so i was like okay if he has his family there and it uh, and it means okay he is sure yeah it's a safe place yes so that's when we said let's give it a try yeah. but another challenge came in <laughs> other passport <laughs> then we were also worried sasa <laughs> In Somaliland, to Tayanda, ticket to Gwenda, to draw a wapi. You know, yeah. all these things like now. And you, should you so, go alone or yeah. should we come all of us? Because so, mostly to Mezoya Kuishi, like Pamoja, Pamoja, yeah, yeah, as a family yeah. because of the kids. Yeah. Mm. So the other thing now came in Sasa Lazima Tapte Passport. Yes. And I think this is something I want to talk about. Uh, uh, Kenyans or uh, wherever you are. I think it's good to have, you know, things like passports. In because, advance. Yeah, because life life comes in twists and turns. You never know when you need one. Yes. And, and you know, opportunity comes and you lose it because you are not ready for it. And opportunities, opportunities come to those who are prepared. Exactly. Majo, if you're not prepared, it was skipped from you to another person who exactly. is ready. Yeah. So now getting a passport took another time and it wasted you for quite Almost some time. Almost another month again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now your passport in Kenya is three weeks, yes. 21 days. Yes. So you have to wait. Until it's and, and Yes, and that time I wanted really to come because I was thinking about vile ndakuwa kwa ndege, unajua? for the first time and uh -huh. it, it was nice being in an aeroplane that imagination you know but mostly it was because of you know that good bad feeling there is fear in it but you really want to risk out yeah because and, and you also are, you are curious to know yeah. traveling and Exactly. Getting to know of the new place, yeah, yeah. it's an, uh, an experience. Yeah, it was really a humbling experience. Yeah, true, true. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ah, that's nice. Okay, so for me, I knew Somaliland through you and the friend who contacted yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. And, and anyway, so far, you cannot regret yes. being in Somaliland, yes. right? Yes, I can't regret. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Oh, my Jama. <laughs> Kofiti. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, so, <laughs> Sasa coming here, Umeambiwa too. You have not come to see because you see at first when you are talking to him he would tell you the culture is like this the dressing is like this especially for the ladies you know yeah. uh, the religion <coughs> is this how how prepared were you about that uh, that was that was uh, it's no question about it i was not prepared i was worried i was so much worried you know very many thoughts crossed my mind mm -hmm. how about the family i'm leaving behind how are they going to cope without me, you know, we are used to being there. And then now this country I'm going in, I'm told that it's, 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 it has different culture. Yeah. It was a big problem for me. Mm -hmm. Actually when I was coming I was, I, was, I was really disturbed. Though I really wanted to venture and find out for myself. But uh, that was a, a big, big, big uh, problem, challenge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, same for me because you just go. People are there. Yes. You go. go so what will out. make you not survive? Yes. Yes. Okay, for me it was not that stressful. Like your living, coming to a new country that is a bit reserved and all that the culture and the religion and everything. Because I was telling you, why not? It's a nice experience. I think you will have a different view of life out there. You will also learn to appreciate other people's culture more. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. You will also have to learn to accommodate the religion, you know. Because now when you come here, you have to adhere to the rules of the Islam religion, you know. Yeah. So when I, when when you told me that, I was like, okay, you just go. It's no big deal. This guy has told you he has lived there with his family. The kids are there. So I think some few hiccups, and you will adjust. So we prepared and then you left. But that day I was really worried. I called him the following day when you travel. Yeah. And your phone was off because you don't have a number, a line for the for new side. country. Yeah, yes. So I kept calling him, please, when he arrives, let me know. Have you gone to the airport to check him? Have you picked him? Are you sure he's safe? Oh. <laughs> Even before I left, you know? <laughs> 
Yeah, the, even the before night, you left. The night, yeah. the night when I was going to the airport. Yes. So you knew, <laughs> you knew you will take me. You know, like we do the bus stage. Yes. You take somebody up to the bus stage, mm -hmm. and then you you get him into the bus yeah. or whatever. And then you tell him, okay, yeah, goodbye, see you, goodbye, see you, see you there. Arrive, let me so know. you know, ignorance. Mm -hmm. uh, we went. We reached terminal two. <laughs> And then you, 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 are, you are like, he's my husband. We are going, we, I'm, I'm seeing I'm him off. Him off yes. And then the guys tell you, no, no. are you a passenger? <laughs> no. <laughs> you you go back out. from here. <laughs> then you are like, what? How will then I know he's okay? Yeah, then you are crying. Mm. You, I left you crying. I was so worried. Mm. Mm. So, but the, that time, it was a bit emotional. Yeah, but we had to do what we had to do yeah, yeah. at that time. Then you flew out and then here you are. Yeah, and you, you landed. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I got here. But remember mm -hmm. also <clears throat> during that preparation time, you know the, the, the parents, the friends, the family. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, true. you try to tell them, you know, I'm, I'm planning to go to this a place this called place. Somaliland. They, they don't understand Somaliland. So people will be telling you like uh, so what's why? wrong with you mm -hmm. why have you decided this mm. don't you have jobs around here in kenya yeah is, is that, that the, the only, only place, place you can go, go through <laughs> you know but then then you're left confused yeah. am i making the right choice yeah. or am i messing up somewhere should i just stay around and you never know your, you know yes on the way on your side it was crazy mm -hmm. because for you you had a smooth ride yeah, yeah, yeah. on your side yeah. your your family your relatives okay like your parents did not have a much problem they said you just go you, you go yes. find out what's mm -hmm. going on there mm, yes. yeah, it wasn't that much a big venture problem. into life yeah, yeah. enjoy have fun yes get the experience and all that but now on my side oh my god crazy it was crazy because I remember that time, okay, you left because we never left all of us at the same time. Mm -hmm. We never left all of us at the same time. So you came, we decided, come first, know what is happening. And then after that, after that, you learn the job and you learn the culture. Then you, you can tell us, is it possible for us to come? Yeah. But before that, we had talked to the school administration yeah. and they agreed that because your wife is a teacher, Later, if <laughs> your work is good, they can bring him yeah. or they, they can bring her out. Yeah. Then I was like, okay, if that's the deal, then now we can agree you to leave. Yeah. But if they don't agree in the first place for me and the kids to come, no leave. But it's also good for you to tell people. Yes. But you are. Uh, the, the issue here is if your work is good, so it means what give people, the best. people should know yes. that the world is very competitive. And, yeah, and, and uh, everybody expects the best mm -hmm. so you cannot just go somewhere and then you just want to do average things so yes. you have to up your game stand out uh, given opportunity you have to prove you can do it yes. so that's another thing i keep telling people opportunities will come but are you worthy are you different are you ready yes mm -hmm. to, to bring others. in yes something different or give in 110 percent if you really need it yes then you really need to give your best. So that was something. That was a challenge I had. That if uh, if you, you have get to the come, job, but if I have, if to you come, have to come, you have to prove that the school really needs your services. Yes. You are worthy yeah. to have that favor extended to your family, yes. like your kids to come, your wife to come. Because your problem was you want that family unit together. Yes. Because that's what we are used to. Yeah. In Kenya, most of the time, we live the same place. If you are working this place, I am yeah, around yeah. the kids are there. But anyway, thank you, because when you came, Siku you, did, you did a nice job. Siku you did a nice job. Yeah, true. God true. Serve, yes. Alhamdulillah. Yes. Yeah, be yeah. prayerful every yeah, time. Yeah. Oh, Give yeah. your best. Be honest. And everything falls in place. So now here you are, you have arrived. Father, I want to pick a big shout to my big bro. Anajua, my big bro. Anajua. We are still the same here, like any. Shout out, bro. God bless. You are Jim Beast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I really appreciate, honestly, I really appreciate everything. I don't know, Yanni, sometimes some things take the hand of God. Yeah. And so far, so good. Tunashukuru sana. Big bro, wherever you are, 
this is for you your family our family we appreciate yeah. we are very thankful yeah. so sasa i had to tell my parents you know <laughs> i am <laughs> going <laughs> yes yeah. i, I am going to, to this place so <laughs> they were like what why once that you have a job in kenya the kids are here they have to learn so easily they are young they are growing so my parents said there is nowhere that you are going i was again and that was final <laughs> <laughs> that was final so i was like what i really need to go because now my husband has left and uh, we had planned that at least if he goes and checks the place a nice place his work is okay there are very many teaching opportunities there and the institution had agreed to bring us over so there is no problem there are other families that are living there very many kenyans and other people working there so don't be worried about the security oh my god my parents this one if you watch <laughs> it was a struggle but at the end of the day yeah. i had to do this you know they also understood later yeah yeah later they also understood and they said okay god bless you in the new venture in a new place yeah so i told them now i need to process my documents on the kids documents but for me to process my documents they have to give their consent by giving the um, ID. yes identification card the parents identification card and that one upon you she did it the, <laughs> the, the struggle oh my god tukasukumana tukasukumana please give me the documents i need to process this eh so nikaambiwa no you i think maybe you're making the wrong choice and at last they decided to help me with the documents but it was crazy the way i got the documents push and pull a story for another day <laughs> that one is a story for another day later i got the documents yeah. their documents and i went silently and processed my documents yeah. from the immigration offices in uh, in Nairobi and then uh, after a few weeks i think two or three they did yeah. not take so long yeah. we got the kids passport yeah yeah for the children and for me now the preparation started to come over and all that but also everything always has a struggle you know sometimes the preparations would reach somewhere and it's like things are stuck but we became patient and waited until now i got my tickets to fly over and we came the kids were really excited okay they they had this idea like god when he had this idea of okay if i'm flying out i am going to see daddy and the country is like this that like, lives this, like in, uh, yes in, in a paradise mansion somewhere in, in paradise, paradise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No? <laughs> yeah, he was excited yes yeah. that night i think they did not sleep it was terrible they, they are anxious we are still packing yeah. and it's me and the two kids yeah. you know but later we travel i think one thing that uh, i learned that time mm -hmm. it's good people to be you know to be accommodative you should be you should expect change yeah, true. when change comes your way mm -hmm. you embrace it yes. because you never know you know things happen for a reason so when we were living it looked like uh, maybe you know this is a wrong decision Choice, yeah. we're making mm -hmm. i don't think if this is the right thing you're supposed to be doing mm -hmm. but at the moment i think it was the best thing we did yeah. and if there is any challenge that comes with it we solve it one at a time yeah. i think we we are we are moving in the right direction and that, that's one reason why we have mwikali global tv, TV. Yes. so we, we try to explain to people mm -hmm. that uh, there's a place called somaliland it is safe uh, people are living here the culture is good the place is, is welcoming yes. and, and anybody who has an idea of maybe doing business venturing into new places mm -hmm. then this is the right place to be yeah. there is a lot of growth happening uh, recently yeah. in the education sector in the um, hospitality sector there are very many schools in hargeisa yeah. very many new schools right now how many schools have yeah. even opened been established there are many. when you are here there are many, very there are many, many. Yeah. then also the hospitality industry, industry hotels is booming i think yeah that is one of the most yes. uh, uh, 
growing industry in this country. In, in, true. Yeah. 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 So now that's why we are also trying to make the tourism industry, you know. Yeah. Even the Somaliland officers here about tourism should do more to market the country, yeah, to make people out there, yes, sensitize people out there of the opportunities of investment maybe in Somaliland. Mm -hmm. That can be really great. And they have, <coughs> they have good, uh, you know, we have advancement, like now, Technology, at least the, the transfer, the money transfer, come in and pay. Yeah, yeah. Here we have something Wafi called Zat, and Zat. Wafi. Yeah. They are too fast, efficient. Very on reliable. Uh, this one is not like in Kenya mm. where every transaction you have to produce to your pay. ID. And and again they charge you here. The, the money transfer is free. Sending. When you are sending, sending when you are receiving, mm. buying anything, mm -hmm. the the transfer is free. So it's like. Everybody uses that particular service. Mostly cashless transactions. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Because it's free, so most people are using. Yes. And it's easy to use, it's efficient. It's and nice. again, one unique thing, you don't have to have a smartphone. Oh yeah, sure, by the way. You don't have to have a smartphone. Yeah, yeah. Like, put your internet on, yeah, then yeah. you operate the app, no. Even with the smallest, that cheap, we call it Kabambe. Yeah. The, the, yeah, the you yeah, can good always good. Yeah, yeah, access good. your money, operate your money and all that. And but unless you are doing the international um changing the, the, the money change yeah, yeah. from maybe dollar you want to send to your country. Like for us we always do that. We change the money right on your phone, yeah. change it from the dollars to the Kenyan shilling, then you send even to your phone. You can have that Safari from line in yeah, your phone. Yeah. Yes, you change few minutes. You just check the money has yeah. been credited in your account, which is really, really a plus for yeah. me. That one is very effective, yeah. and we enjoy the services. Yeah, yeah. So, so you are now in uh, Hargeisa yes, with the babies. We How are you with feeling? The babies. Oh, my How God. was everything? When when I <laughs> landed <laughs> at the, the airport. <laughs> no, the turbulence was not so uh, bad. You have not told people how you were excited to, to go into an aeroplane, you are taking I selfies, was, mm, 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 you are so excited, you know. You know. Uh, I'm flying uh, Boeing 3056 <laughs> African Airways. No, for you, the excitement European. and the, the confusion <laughs> in you was too much. Not like for me, okay, for me. <clears throat> It was not so much of a big deal, you know. I had so many things going in my mind. I'm also concerned about the security of the kids. But of course, the selfies, the selfies. must be taken. Uh -huh. It's for memories, you know. By the way, the, 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 the international airport here is called Igal. Igal so when you airport. get to Argesia, you get to Igal International Air, airport. airport. Yes. land, <laughs> Igal. Nikaangalia the environment. Nikaangalia the weather and I think that time it was very hot. Eh? Yeah. The weather was very hot. So it was in January. No, 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 no. It was around uh, October or uh, August somewhere. There. It was July Ikea ah, yeah. Because July. now job was that was supposed to begin in, in August. In August, ah, yes. Yeah. So at first Sasa Nikakwana Julisa, what? He climate in Nakakwa harsh. It was hot. Na isayo, yes, you are supposed to okay. You will not travel and come to Somalia and come to the Difonika, my friend. If you are coming from Kenya or maybe probably from other countries, you have to respect the Islam culture. So I had to buy some few boy boys. But it's also funny, you know, that's why I said sometimes things work in um, Nimungu, Unajua, Kulinganana, the way God has planned your life. I remember in uh, which year was that? Sometime back when I had my second baby, yeah, I was working in a school that is uh, Catholic oriented. But when I went to look for my maternity dresses, guess what I bought? What bui bui? Yes, I went to Isili in Nairobi and got myself two very nice black bui's, and that's what I was wearing. Then everybody thought I'm crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you are pregnant. So now when I connect those two things, it's destiny. Yes, I think for me it was about destiny. And, and I saw these two things connecting. 
So to Mefika, I'm not so much in a shock because of my dressing because I love it. Yeah. I enjoy it yeah, and I had right. done that previously oh, yeah. during that period of my life. You have really, you have really adopted to the culture. And I also enjoy it mm-hmm. this way. <laughs> you look great. nice. Thank you. Yeah. So now we learned a guy, the heat. Uraskia, sun burns everywhere. It's dry, it's dusty. So my son was asking me, hey mom, is this the place where we were coming? The other baby was a bit little, she was young. So he said, yes, this is where the deep stays. So to go to got confused, that's what to do in Nani and to pick. But luckily, the institution always organizes for transport for new teachers, new staff members from the airport to the facilities where the teachers uh, reside, the guest houses. So we were picked. I was looking for you, and I was like, guys, Sasa, uja kuja tutukua. Then Sasa nikamuliza, ay, one of the drivers haka niambia, oh, you're looking for a nene, you are a nene's wife? Then I was like, yeah. So, I know he's still in the guest house, but we were sent to come and pick you people. Then, because of the kids, tukawekua somewhere for that in Bele, the front seat up on uh, the, the other point. So we came, to a drive, guy. The environment at first, we meet with Anisia. When you are looking for specific roads, that time eh, the terrain is not good. The roads were not very well demarcated. So we are places in Kenya, we are in the country. We are not going to desert. We anywhere. How does even the driver know where exactly to go? Looks like there was a river there. Yes. Yeah, it was rough. Where? Yes. So that's when Angalia and very many things are crossing my mind. Then I even thought, did I have to come to this place? I think I've made a wrong choice. Nika kwa na jambi aki if I knew this is how the place looks, I can at Nairobi. Yeah. So I'm also thinking, kuna kwa very dry. Where do people get water? Where do they get food? Because akuna farms. Sioni shamba zozote. Unajua. But now, hmm, that's crossing my mind. Sina mtu wa kuliza. Tukaenda, tukafika in the guest house. And then, at least now we saw you. Mkatufungulia gate hapo, the teachers wa. Kuna wanya wako wa mesafiri. Like you, you did not want to travel back to Kenya because you were waiting. You were coming, yeah, you were coming. Yeah, and then now, we started getting into the system. Yeah, mixing with the new teachers, mixing with the old teachers. They are the ones to explain to you the culture, the expectations, the school policies. No, no, well, when you came, at least you helped me. Yes, yes. To guide you. Yeah, true. You know, I was telling you, this one we do this, don't do this, like that. But when I came, Mimi, Ulukua, learn on your own. Yes, and, and <laughs> although now I had to count on uh, my friend who connected me here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. That's why I was, uh, mean, I was referring to him as very important at that time. He had an Dalene Pea Sim. Yes, yes, yeah, true. I can connect your Sim Yangu kwa internet. I can communicate now. Yes, I can put a line. I can put a line. You know, that guy is, is good. You know, you are good, bro. Don't worry. <laughs> so, one day, uh, I think after one day, he, he picked me up in my room. And then he took me to town. We went to the bank. Uh, it was the first time I, I touched a dollar. It was, it was your me. first time. It was the first time I touched a dog. Now you see why I was telling you, Mimi being in an aeroplane was not a shock to me. Yeah. Because Mimi I had touched dollars before. I know. I know. <laughs> you know. For me, yeah. For uh, me, okay. that was the first time. I wanted time. to agree. <laughs> yeah. For me, that was the first time. Now you look at $10. Yeah. 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 Around a thousand bob in Kenya. Yes, yes. I guess it was $10. That's a... So, Ujinga, you know, mm. uh, so uh, we went, mm. you can use this, buy a few things here and there. Yeah. He was a nice guy, he took mm. me to a hotel, mm. uh, he introduced me to this place, mm. you know, telling me how it works, yeah. everything. Mm. So I really appreciate him. <coughs> yeah, and true. then, yeah, and then we, we went back to... He made, he made your landing, your first time experience here. Very Bearable. comfortable, yes. yeah, very yeah. comfortable. Yeah. I remember even my first washing... Uh, Basically, all the all the basic needs yeah. he gave them to me. Now I've got to go and be under the share. Yes. Those who are under the So uh, that's what brothers are. For, yeah, 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 Friends yeah, are yeah, for yeah, years. Yeah. But I I also used to tell him, please 
please yeah. make sure my guy is comfortable yeah. make sure you tell me how he's doing i'm worried yeah. is he okay you know we made this decision the two of us that you go and venture yeah, now yeah. if something bad happens to him what will i say you know yeah. i will be answerable maybe the family will also question me my family will also tell me why did you people decide to go there yeah. so i really wanted at least somebody who will, will check up on you yeah, and yeah. to make sure you're so, safe so, so we so, appreciate yeah, that yeah. Mm -hmm. so when we got here like a week after i landed you know, I started work and trying to climatize, yeah. learn a few Somali words, mm -hmm. and and we are going to do a video on this one very soon because yes. right now at least we can speak Somali. Mm -hmm. inyar, inyar. Uh, yeah, little little inyar, inyar, yeah. Bit, yeah. <laughs> so we can we can interact with the Somali language at the moment. Mm -hmm. My kids speak Somali, all of them. And Arabic. They they, they learn. They, they can speak Arabic. Uh -huh. Recite the school. Quran. Yeah, they can recite the Quran. Yeah. Most people. You know, back at home they say, with mm -hmm. a But you see, these things are just the same. When you go to Rome, you do what do the, like Romans the Romans do. Romans. And I, I love it anyway. Yeah, I love it. Me too. So to Kakuja, a mm. week after, mm. you can mm. begin a similar thing. Mm. You can you know the kid is sick. Yes, the small the one. The small one. Mm. Yeah. So she was, was like, a few months old. I, I think, think you left when she was around eight. Yeah. Around eight, then because then, I was mezali wa March. Yes. Then you told me she's sick. So she the condition was bad. And then I was like, so I can't stay here. Mm. And my kid is sick. Yeah. Let me just go back. Maybe mm. it was a mistake. Mm. So naenda kwa ujama. Ujama sasa unajua yeye ndiye ananiambia venye kunaenda. Yeah, relax. It shall be well, bro. Mm. Just just relax. I told him no, no, no. When my kid is sick mm -hmm. and I am here, it cannot work. I have yeah. to go back. And then you called him secretly. Mm. You told him, by any means, mm -hmm. that boy should not live there. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he, he dares na, to live. Yeah. Mm. Na na oh, mm. I na, to go. Book me back. I'm going mm. because my child is sick. I cannot stay here. Mm. Then he just tells me, ah, we have to live. Man. I'm yes. not about now, uh, like that. Mm. So that, that moment was very depressing for me. I didn't I didn't have anything good in me by that time because so the family is not there and everything is not fine. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I almost gave up but I said anyway, let's see how it rolls out. Yeah. Yeah. So that part there was hey, it was normal. It was terrible. By this Sasakama for me that time, oh my god, it was a tough time. Mtoto akomgonjo. I have to struggle alone. The first reaction you are got in. I even got shocked because when she was where at a cop, Alizumbuka everywhere. Oh, this is where the business is. I thought we are going to this country. So he had very many questions. But now we had to answer him because he was also curious and anxious as we were. Yeah, but um, now there are very many things we have learned here by the way now one of them is the community aspect of yeah. the somalis uh, the togetherness oh, yeah. Yeah. that bond they are minding about another person's welfare exactly. they are so much concerned on uh, are you comfortable how is everything how is your family how are your kids anything that happens to you by the way they will follow up with you like i remember one time uh, the kid was sick to be in the guest house too. and then we were looking for a place a hospital in at least it's a nice one everybody was willing go to this place unapewa yeah. hata referrals hata wengine wanakuambia i can get underway or a taxi for you to be taken to that doctor yani there is a lot of Bonding, yeah, 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 yeah. community there's, care. There's that. Yes. There's that. Uh, uh, I think it's it's cultural. Mm. For them, helping mm. is part of them. Yes, yes, you yes. know, like most of my Somali friends, mm. they will prefer mm. if they are going to town and I'm going to the gym. Yes. They, they will take me to town, yeah. then they go back to the, to the gym. gym. <laughs> you know, and it, it's not like you're going to pay. Yes. For them, they feel nice. Mm. If they get you in a restaurant like today here. Yeah, they will tell you your bill has been catered for. This is somebody you just met. Yes. So it's 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 a really a beautiful community to live in. You learn a lot of good things about love, 
sharing, yeah. yeah. Something else you'll see is mostly when they eat, they eat together. They sit down, they share the same plate, they use their hands to eat. Majua, any now they share kabisa, they love. Hatuna meanness in the yeah. It's very good. Yeah. It's it's so. I have something else I found interesting. <laughs> okay, if you, have to, if you have to use the public transport, oh my god, you will just enjoy it because uh, <laughs> nobody is hurrying you up. Yeah. Then you just do like this, they will it stop, stops, yeah. they will wait for you. Not running, you go to the bus, you board. Nobody is hurrying you, you're wasting our time and I get in seat. Yeah. Yes? Seat, be comfortable. Now the driver will drive off. Yeah. And, <laughs> and there are no conductors. Yes. That's how honesty is is, 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 Culture. is cultured here. Yes. Too much yeah. honesty. There is nobody to collect the bus fare. The bus fare. Yes. So you, you just check the bus number if there is this pay that. Through your yeah. phone. You just pay through your phone or if you have the money, you the just cash. pass through the customers. You pass through the customers. Ah. If you are seated at the, the back, back, you will give the next person in yeah. the next chair, give the next person to give to pass to yeah. the other one to pass the, until it reaches the, the driver. driver. <laughs> and, the, and, and, and everybody pays. Yes. It's, it's so much good mm -hmm. that you feel like an element of honesty. Yes, yes. It's, 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 it's funny because most of the time I forget my phone in the gym. I don't have a sleepless night. I just, yeah, I go back the following day and, pick and I it. take it. And they tell you, oh, you left you it left here. We, here. We, yeah. we kept it for you. So it's a good culture. Another time you went to the market downtown and you forgot your identification, identification card. card. And the lady, the woman who was selling for you the meat, yeah. kept, kept it, kept for, it you for me until the next Thursday. Yeah, when because I they knew you would pass over yeah. there to pick yeah. it. Yeah. Which is really nice, by the way. That one, oh my God, from our brothers and sisters in Somaliland, you are really doing up, a big very up, big good big job yeah. in culturing honesty, you know, yeah. and responsibility. People have to know you are your brother's keeper, yes, yes, you are your yes. sister's keeper. Yeah. Anything that affects them should be your concern. Yeah. Anything that is not going well with them should be your concern. And the same thing to them also, you yeah, know. Exactly. And, and, um, uh -huh. yeah. So the other thing you are to talk about is maybe the, the ladies, you know, when you come here, yeah. you really need to adapt to the modesty. Call. Yeah, modesty is the word. You have to dress modestly and even the way you walk. Everything has to be a certain level of mannerism. Yes. It's, it's something that I've also learned here. I am I'm very happy at some point my daughter grows here because I'm a Jew. In a far at some point, I should cover myself when I'm walking out, people do not see me. Yes, my also, hair, my hair, you know, it's, it's, it's good because they, they grow up knowing what is right for them, yeah, true. yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. And, and also, the first time you came, you know, okay, like Kenyans in Kenya, yeah. you greet some when you meet, meet somebody. Uh, yeah. You greet somebody using yeah. your hand. Yes. 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 So when we came here, you're there extending your hand to greet somebody, and then somebody's <laughs> looking at you like, um, then you wonder, they don't want to greet me or something. But later we learned that you don't just go greeting, especially the opposite sex, yeah. with your hands. Yeah. Yes, you just say, Salam alaikum, how are you? Good yeah. morning, things like that. So if it's a man, I will not touch their hand. Yeah. You know? If it's a man who wants to greet me, they will not touch my hand also. But for the same sex, they can do that. Yeah. You can hug your lady friends if you're a lady. You can hug your your sisters, your brothers, maybe in the home. But now outside here, the men, you stay on your lane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that also goes to the modest. Yeah. 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 True? Yeah. Yes. It applies. And um, what else? So, it's an amazing place. Yeah, yeah. Oh, now something else that we found also amazing in our place. <laughs> in Kenya, you used to, you can go to the shop anytime. You wake up in the morning at <laughs> 7, you need something, you rush to the shop. Uh, it's lunchtime, you don't have tomatoes to cook, you don't have salt, you rush to the shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're sure to find that lady. Yeah, yeah. Here, it's mostly about timings. Yeah. Because the shops close at noon. At noon. Yes, because that's time for salah. Yeah. And everybody is in prayer mode now. Yeah. So they close the shops, 
go maybe to the mosque. Some some people would also go home after the prayer yeah, time. Yes. Yeah. So they close the shops. They close the schools. Most schools operate also. Even shops. Yeah. Yes. Um, hospitals also, unless all, it's a man. All businesses. All, all businesses. businesses. Yes. Yeah. Everybody is now going home. Yeah. Prayers, then they go home. So some people have that afternoon nap, they sleep up to around three. And four. Oh yes. Then around four, after now life comes back again after the prayer. Yeah. There is um, the shops can open. Yeah. The, there is afternoon schools. Yeah. But now for the kids they have to go to the afternoon school at noon. Yeah. The morning section is finished from six or seven in the morning up to twelve, 12 or twelve fifty. Yeah. That bunch of students go home. Then now the second bunch of school come to action and that is around from twelve fifty or one up to five. Up to five, 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 yeah. or five so that is good. But by six they are home because they need to go to Madrasa. Yeah. Yeah. They need to do their prayers. Yeah. It's 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 yeah. interesting, yeah. right? The other thing is, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. in Kenya, mm -hmm. in Kenya on Saturday and Sunday it's a weekend. Yes. Here on Saturday and Sunday is a weekend. Yes. So we are on work. We are at work from Saturday up to Wednesday, uh -huh. and then Thursday and Friday, Friday is weekend. It's the weekend. <laughs> so when you come here, you need. Yes. You are like uh, today is it's Saturday, Saturday. You know? so you Sunday. think now you are supposed to stay at home. Oh. You are told no. Mm -hmm. We are going at work. Actually, Saturday is the first day of the work. Week. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So it's funny, but you get to adjust and then you get to it. True. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting. The first time I was always very confused. Yeah. Because you're wondering, today is Saturday. Saturday. Today is Sunday. And people from home are calling you, it's weekend. Yeah. They think you are free, but you are in class, you are, you are, you are teaching, yeah. you are at work. But right now, I don't even find anything weird. About we have really adjusted. Yeah. We, we know the time the shops operate. There is a time I cannot even dare leave the house. Yeah. Because where am I going to? Businesses are closed, shops are closed, the restaurants are closed. So yeah. you just stay in the house and after everything comes back to normalcy, you just go and yeah. do your thing but it's a nice place the climate is good like right now it's a bit cold so it's not raining the weather is nice you know and another thing that used to disturb me was water where do they get yeah. water and it's yeah, a desert yeah, yeah, yeah. Mostly so, they have them. So, so mostly we have these big lorries. The they, call, they call buoyet. Uh, buoyet. Yeah, when you, so those guys are the ones who bring water. In most homes. And it's from few, the boreholes. Yeah, there are few homes with water. There are Fighting few places water. even where people do farming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so but those buoyet, those tankers will always bring water to the homes. Yes. The water is a bit salty, so again you adjust to that. So most of the time we drink. Uh, the bottled, the bottled water, water. Yeah, yeah. you buy from the shop. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But it's okay, you get it. Just like carrying it in yeah. Kenya, Dasani, Dasani is here. Yeah. Yes, they yeah. sell very many products yeah. that exactly. are there. Yeah. And, and um, the salty water, talking of that salty water, did it affect you when you came here? Yeah, the skin. Oh my God. If you're not careful, your skin will change color. So you have to be somebody who's a bit hygienic, a little bit. Yes. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you even even I think at some point it can affect maybe your feeding. Yeah. Because again, the food is not you know the ugali at home all it's the time. The vegetables, kuma, sijui mrenda, nini, hizo viazi akuna. So you get used to eating rice, spaghetti. No, viazi are here. The potatoes are yeah. there. But they are not... Um, you the don't find the sweet potatoes a lot. You don't find the yams a lot. But there's a time I found in the supermarket the uh, sweet yeah, potatoes. Yeah, Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. The, um, I don't know, they told me they call, they, they call them from Gebali or Ethiopia, I'm not really sure. But we'll follow up from the farms that are in Somaliland or the greenhouses. We need to know what exactly do they plant. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. So here, the feeding was a challenge for us. I remember the kids did not take their food for almost two weeks. Uh, they don't want rice. It's a big problem. We cannot get vegetables, it's yeah. only the cabbage and um, the spinach. Yeah. So we even resorted to planting our own. <laughs> <laughs> our kitchen garden. Yes, yeah. the kitchen garden. Watch that video, yeah. by the way. The kitchen garden, at least it gives, gives us some uh, green vegetables. Yeah. Although right now I've really neglected it. Yeah, we are going I to do something. I should revive it, yeah, yes, yes. 
because for the nutrition of the kids it's important to have the green stuff yes, yes. and then most of the food is also processed yes how is that yes canned yeah. and processed so you, you you have to adjust because there is nowhere where we easily get uh, you know whole grain food most of the, yeah most of even beans you have to buy canned ones but at the market I think we get them and boil them yeah, at least. Yeah. and that so came later when we realized yes yeah when yeah. you have somebody to take you around, around you understand yeah and that's why i'm telling you watch videos from kali global tv at least when you come to argeisa you'll have somewhere to start from yeah. you know when where to go to the market yeah. you know which taxis to use we call them the way so Adjusting here, at least you need somebody to show you around. Yeah, that yeah. way it will be easy. Imagine, but again, even if you come on your own, the locals are more than willing to help. Uh, oh my people. God, yeah, I really appreciate the people. People. Even the students that we teach, yeah. very accommodating. Everybody, everybody, yeah. everybody yes. Very nice. So, now I think for today we can have that as part one. Yeah. So that brings us to uh, the end of our first episode of how we came to Somaliland. Let's do this together. It's amazing. You will get amazing videos because also very soon I'm going to do for you other videos of jobs that you can find in Somaliland and also um, how life is being a foreigner in this country, uh, being an expatriate in Somaliland. So there's amazing content lined up. Don't forget to subscribe. Those who have already subscribed, I really appreciate. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. So let's keep growing the Mukali Global TV community. Share with your friends, share with your relatives, and stay locked so that we keep bringing you good content and amazing love from Somaliland.